Oh, what a dream start it is for BLG here for their debut. I am now joined by their coach, Jackson, and Wendy here to translate as we head uh, into map two. Now, first of all, you guys didn't even win a pistol round on that map. You lost the first bonus as well. Normally, in those positions, it's impossible to win the map. Uh, so how do you think that your team were able to do it? 那要问到我们教练的是，其实，在第一张图的时候，你们是输掉了两个手枪局，而且其实，在第一个的奖励局也是没有能够赢下来。我们很多时候会觉得这是一个不可能获胜的情况，但是你们做到了，完成了翻盘。所以说，你觉得你们能赢下最关键的点是什么？为什么能够打得这么漂亮？呃，就是我们一上来确实被打得有一点措不及手的，然后叫了暂停之后，就告诉了他们一些防守的一些要点嘛。确实，就是队员们执行的都非常不错。然后到下半场的话，就是我们到下半场的首枪局开始，就觉得这个比赛的走向就是没有自己想象中那么困难。然后就是可以打的，然后大家都是放得更开了，然后每个残局都抓住了机会。我觉得这就是我们赢了的点。Yeah, we feel like definitely an, a, not a good start for us, but after that we got that pause and we just made some adjustments. I told the player that some strategies that we need to focus and after that we feel like all the players they adapt so well into the actual games and I feel like in, coming into the second half of the map, although we lost that pistol rounds, but feels like it's not a very hard game for us. It's still winnable and after that we just would like to make some adjustments and have a good focus into the game and after that we're able to get that win. It was a beautiful Beautiful win. Thank you very much, Wendy, for translating. Thank you, Jackson. Uh, good luck in map two. Let's see if BLG can pull off this huge upset. Thank you so much for that, Yin Su. We can confirm Billy Billy is in fact gaming as they picked up their first map win in a global event, historical as well, which was massive there. And to do it in overtime, and to do it in the fashion that they did it, you gotta love this BLG team. They definitely brought it to NRG. My question heading in today is, how long is it gonna take for China to have a second team who can compete with the top squads internationally? At what point will there be enough learning, be enough experience internationally to get here? But already, Billy Billy have shown up at their very first event, after losing five rounds in a row, have an insane rally in the second half to bring this one back. And well, I think we did see that their retakes were good. They had good coordination. It was really just these insane plays from individuals as the catalyst to bring them back. It sure was. And a lot of these pop-offs were coming from uh, K9 here, just making incredible plays. T being into rubble, uh, getting behind people, uh, coming up with flanks, just mm -hmm. getting these crazy two and three Ks to close out these rounds. And I'm loving what I'm seeing with him. I mean, we might have a competitor to Demon 1 for our villain of the event. He's standing up, he's yelling. <laughs> the map concluded, he's yelling at energy as they're walking off Get him some stage. sunglasses. Get him some sunglasses. Let's get him out there. I love this. The first global event for him, and he's just looking so comfortable up there on the stage. They needed these clutches, too, because NRG won 21 opening kills. BLG only got five of them. They lost 60% of their man-up scenarios. That never happens. BLG somehow, despite being down five rounds to start, despite losing both pistols, despite being down at the start of pretty much every single round, still had it in them to bring it back, which just makes the win even more insane than it already is as just an upset in and of itself. That's right, losing both pistols, losing one of the Ecos, uh, you know, just coming in uh, halfway through the, the first half of the match just behind by so much, but yeah. it really just came down to these individual hero plays uh, and really good team coordination to really like figure out what energy you're throwing at them, slow down their game a bit, uh, tighten up their spacing and really trade out these rounds. And man, what a comeback from, from Billy Billy. I think that's something that's gonna carry this confidence into the map too. Well, it's interesting, uh, you know, going into this, we weren't quite sure where Billy Billy landed, but the one thing that we did kind of establish, at least when we were talking about it, maybe when the cameras went on, don't remember, it's all a blur, uh, was that this is not a team that's coming into it with like that kind of flashy or that kind of, uh, uh, you know, very like, oh, a star player does this, or, and yes, they do have YZ, excellent player in its own right, but you're seeing the structure in this team, and, and, and we're talking about the retakes, right? Like all the things that they needed to do to keep themselves in this game. It feels like all that is there for BLG and Spades, Mimi. And it makes me think that this team has a lot more than meets the eye based off of that first map win. I thought they had more structure compared to the other teams they were playing against in China. I didn't think they would compared to the international teams. And I still don't think that. I think this was a very okay. loose win. They still gave away a lot of opening kills. They still made a lot of mistakes. But what mattered was the recovery and how they were playing in the late rounds, which propelled them to the win in this. Fair enough, fair enough, of course, there. And, uh, but if, yeah, 
Cycle, what is your take on that, though? How do you feel about this 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 BLG team and their structure as a unit? Well, I think it looked great, especially in the late round, as Mimi is saying. And you know, they said they came here to learn, and they were learning indeed. You know, halfway through the map, halfway through the, the half, they they were picking up on what FNS was calling, and they were adapting to it. So I think that despite losing both pistols, despite losing all of these first bloods, you know, they're still closing out this win, and that bodes well for this team. If they can learn from this map and fix some of these mistakes and kind of tidy up their structure a little bit more, they're a force to be reckoned with in this tournament all of a sudden. That's fair, that's fair. But of course, let's go and take it over to the other side of the stage. And first, we're going to have our aim lab shoot around. Here's Sam, but it gives us an opportunity, though. Talk about NRG, because this team was coming into this with a lot of hype. Everyone felt like this was a sure thing for the team. And as we've learned in this sport, Mimi, nothing is a sure thing, especially these global events. Absolutely not. And Sam is the player who was the star of the show in the first half. He started the game 7-0, to and Ace on the second round was performing incredibly. Honestly, all the players for NRG actually looked like they were continuing with the step-ups we saw from this team in Tokyo. It really was that second half that kicked them. But if there's a team who knows how to rally back from losing a map, from going down in a series, it is NRG. They have gone through so many lower bracket runs, so many comebacks in BO3s like this. I don't think there's a team more familiar with this pressure cycle. That's right. I mean, we talked about this at the beginning of the game. You know, this is a team that is known for coming into these group stages and stumbling a little bit. You know, this is not unexpected for them. They may drop this map. They may even drop this series. But we know that we will see a deep run from these guys because that is what they do. Oh, I couldn't agree more, uh, you know, and, and it's not a situation you really want to find yourself in. <laughs> no. But if there is a team that has, at the very least, tasted this type of disappointment in the past, it is most certainly going to be NRG. Uh, but of course, that takes us over to our second map, which is going to be split as we get ready for the agents, like the prime gaming agents. Let me make sure I get that one in there. And here we go. So uh, out of the gate, nothing really that's uh, standing out to me. You know, you got the Cypher in there, but uh, no, actually no Sentinel for NRG, which no real changes there, Psycho. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't expect them to change this map up. It's a map that there was pretty good for them throughout the season. It's always yep. been a good map for this core. Um, you know, I really like the Astro from Som. I think it gives you a lot of stopping power on the defense. It's something that Billy Billy may struggle with with the Omen. Okay. Map one to me proved how good the individuals of Billy Billy are and how good their mental is to recover in the second half. This is where we need to see consistency. And on this defensive side, against this double duelist comp, it can be tough. NRG has ran over a lot of teams. They were stomping teams like Navi, like DRX in Tokyo on this comp and catching people off guard with the pace. Billy Billy, though, I think have a good comp to play against it. You can set up a lot of trap plays with the Cypher, the Rays, and that Omen Paranoia yeah. in conjunction. And this is where I'm looking to see more of that structure that we've really seen them strive towards in China. Yeah, interesting clash of styles for sure. And we'll see how this ends up panning out. Of course, excitement in the air as we jump into this. Can Billy Billy shut this down? Can they get a 2-0? Or will we be seeing a Mat 3? I don't know, but I think the Shrine wants a Mat 3. But for now, let's send it back over to the casters for the call. Thank you so much, analysts, for kind of taking us through what was probably a, a very un an orthodox start to the day. I don't think many of us saw this as the way things were going to be. Show me your pickums. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who said they yeah. saw this coming. Yeah, I'd love to see them. But let's now talk as realists, right? Because I feel like map one was a bit of a dream. It was one of those imagine ifs. There's a chance. There's a, you know, those, those tiny fractions of a capability of it happening. But it did. Now we get into the realistic thing, right? Stats the, from the crowd. I like that. Oh, uh, nice counting work. Very <laughs> nice. But now we look at NRG's home map. Something that's been a stronghold for them. That's always looked comfortable to an extent. Is there a chance in your mind here? Where does this go now? I want your thoughts. Well, it's interesting. I, I remember making a comment in Tokyo regionally. There was a few series where they really struggled on the defensive split. Now, Billy Billy, maybe with the wind in their sails, a little bit of confidence here. Oh. For example, Bianc, YZ, maybe firing up just a little bit. Yeah. There's a chance for Billy Billy to potentially cause some issues here. Uh, I mean, whether or not we're going to see it, uh, Billy Billy rely on a, a solid scoreline here from their defensive side, but that certainly is a concern for me because there was a few times where NRG just, it looks as if they feel as if they've got a grasp on how the round is going to conclude. And then out of nowhere, there's a Bianc 3K, there's, yep. there's a YZ paint shell that lands yep. into a showstopper that, that completely opens the site up. And the other thing to consider as well is their conversion of disadvantages on map one. So NRG definitely need to have cleaned that up coming into the second map here, Lauren. 
Then let's find out if lightning strikes twice. The first map, you could call it an upset. You can call it what you want. Make it two maps, and then suddenly you've got everyone's attention. But can they really do it here? Rin gonna be the first to fall. Victor off to a blistering start. And once again, one of the key components was that B take. It always looked so beautifully crafted and once again rewarded. Palm will come through. No resistance just yet from Billy Billy. YZ actually with a sheriff in hand. Still has the paint shell. But not much else in the form of utility, so. Barring some opening kills here from Billy Billy. Should see NRG lock this one down. There's the flash, but it's not going to blind Victor at all. It's Crashies. Oh, this is comfortable for NRG. Just night and one left. St hold on, hold on, hold on. It's down to a 1v2. 24 seconds, but you've got to land these shots and fast. Try and dig some out of this position. That ain't going to be easy. Apparently, it might just be Flash going to connect in 6 HP. Two more bullets to play with and one target to find. Crashies holds. And NRG. Make it past the first hurdle, but what a key round to amplify what you were just saying. How many times do we think we see the outcome and then it shifts? Exactly. It looks like they're completely locked out of this site, especially with the first kill going in favor of NRG. But time and time again, Billy Billy will find a reason to fight. It's ridiculous because it almost feels like the round's done, right? You're thinking about the timer, you're thinking about every aspect. You're thinking, okay, this one's looking pretty wrapped up. They're not going to be able to dig out some from that deeper spot. And he, and he did. But still, the scoreline is the important factor. And it's the first for NRG. More contested than I'm sure they'd like. But you look at the buy coming in for Billy Billy here. Only light, but a couple of shorties, a frenzy or two, and a classic for night. And that's about it. And Ardis taking the first steps now. Keep in mind, we get to see artists on the Jets, always a joy. Crashies with the rifle as well. So two out to play here. Yosemite unchecked as of yeah, but artists seemingly aware of the possibility. Knight goes exploring. We'll find Finesse. The attack comes through in his favor, but... They didn't clear, they didn't clear diligently. They overwhelm in the end, so they get heaven control. This then pulls in YZ, but again, look at... <gasps> again, another punishment! NRG, come on! Got to be sharper than this. A couple of chances made here, but YZ should be... Oh, dear! That's a phantom. That's a big upgrade. And the spike's all alone. FNS was on the other side of the map. He's actually in... They're so split, Lauren. Yeah, this, this, is, this, this is Som now having to play Survivor, right? He's got to stay alive. Keep your eyes on YZ here. This is all about <gasps> timing. Som didn't quite see it, I don't think. Maybe expecting left. it. YZ... No! <gasps> the timing! No way! That's the spike down. down B. If finesse. This is a round a coach and IGL will be caking themselves for. If finesse with his work cut out here and YZ in a very tricky angle. Not again. Ladies and gentlemen, now check your corners. Let's keep going. Things descend into chaos there. And both teams so split. Yeah, uh, I yeah, mean, yeah, YZ yeah. was so disconnected from Bianc. This kill with the shorty, it's just time. pivotal. And here, uh, again, you talk about checking corners, but the time's already gone. Oh, that Finesse, was Finesse has to literally yeah. charge yeah. towards the spike. I mean, he comes all the way from defensive spawn. 1-1. <laughs> one, one. What a flip, too. <laughs> okay, can NRG do it back? I guess that's where the... The weight really lays in this is that can they maybe answer this? But now they're up against a, a hefty purchase from Billy Billy. Trailblazer to, I guess, confirm behind that initial flash, but NRG looking to stack up behind it. A little bit of misdirection or denial of information here. They'll try and play that to their advantage. So who does this fall down to? I guess really Knight. He's, he's got a lot of support that will be there through Here. middle, but it, they're not close. A deep trip, though, so the information will come early enough. Still, reinforcements coming back through ropes. They'll get to heaven on time. The Flash is going to know that there's someone there near Pillar. They don't know quite where. Artis is close, but speaking about close, wise, he's there, and it's a blender. Knight delivers. Yes, Crash, he's gets a couple back, but he's going to need a whole lot more. And he tried. My god, he tried. They made it costly. Second for Billy Billy. And flipping round two, though. There are a couple of players for Billy Billy that do have the finances to support another purchase. <laughs> See if YC actually opt for a judge here. Sure. Maybe playing into corners, not being checked in a previous round. 
Yeah, I believe, what was it, Yosemite with a frenzy initially went unchecked in May or so. Oh. Ooh. Beautiful shots from Crashies, but man. Well, 3K in the pistol as well from him. Yeah. Could be on for a good one for him today, that'd be nice. Seeker's online already. Blinded. Looking for NRG to maybe stabilize here early on. Can they calm the tempo down here? Once again, high priority towards middle. Two play. Oh! Shouldered by Yosemite, but you're going to have Rin actually just holding that am angle. That was lovely work. Yeah. First blood found. That flash will note that there's another player here, but will they consider Ardis being this deep already? Or does it even matter now the ult comes through? Yep, he's going to have to be very careful because look how ready to brawl they are. All five players for Billy Billy were willing to challenge on middle. I think we're only seeing two on the other side of this new there. Wow, an overstep here from Yosemite. Ardis will punish. Finesse unable to find some space elsewhere though with his position revealed. LG a little earlier this time around will regroup outside eight. So Knight will be tested once again. Flash not going to con connect from Bianca. Yeah, I thought maybe it was going to go a little deeper, but he's not going to rotate off it. Massive timing for the Seekers as well. So Knight's nice position's revealed. One towards screen. Yeah, that's huge. Left. The Seeker's a little bit of an MVP this round, but it's on Knight to try and over-deliver. He's got a freebie on Ardis. Maybe a pull-up. He does! Takes down right Crashes 2, brings it back down to a fair 2v2. But keep in mind, why is he still has that judge? Some will get the divide off this. He's flying in! Connects. He's gone in! He's going to try and find some. Where is he? Says hello, gets him! That's ridiculous stuff! Billy Billy, no respect! Could not care less they're facing NRG. Why is he stuck on the judge and flew in from rafters? What are we seeing? I mean, NRG is completely caught off guard. Paranoia connects, yes, but why is he just completely overstepping? Getting all the way onto site. Inside that smoke, actually, that's planted on the spike here. Gives him a little bit of room for comfort to reset after the double satchel. And a 3-1 scoreline to kick things off here on split. I'm stunned, Mike. I'm really quite stunned. I thought maybe Matt When won. do we get worried? Oh, I now, already am. <laughs> now I'm already worried. It's because of what Billy Billy are doing and how they're doing it, right? Unorthodox, confident, really something to watch. What a stark contrast to the start of map one, though, and that's the confidence factor coming through. Ardis, though, oh, no. looking to switch things up with a blade storm. Yeah. Well connect. He's checking that corner from now on, isn't he? Not going to go unnoted. Knight now going to be drawn in. Should be. Oh, the paranoia, lovely. Holts that a little, stalls it out. Oh, I see. He's still doing so much damage. And Rin found some. Knight's reposition is perfect. Playing deep from CT, allowing them heaven control. Making it hard work. Rin, careful now. That was a little bit overzealous almost, but Knight's there with him. No singular fight and now no singular chance. As Crash, he's left with so little to play with. The A side, yes, available. Camera still there. Two flashes and a stinger. I mean, Crashies is good. I don't think he's this <laughs> The timing good. of the camera. Just heartbreaking for Crashies. Decent chunk of damage, but there's still a judge. YZ will convert Billy Billy's fourth. This is wild. When do we see the timeout, do you reckon? I, I think we see it pretty early on, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. There we go. Yeah, this is not going how NRG wanted. And look I... how quickly Billy Billy are just able to collapse into like a three-way crossfire. There's yeah. no pressure from main. The prior, the, I guess the focal point here for NRG is up through Mayo after Ardis finds that opener. But Billy Billy don't want to concede any more space whatsoever. And, and again, this plays into that, okay, uh, first pick's found, cool. NRG should have upper hand from this point forward. No, not against Billy Billy. Well, I feel like the, even here in the first five rounds, the first blood's a very different affair. They here. have been. The scary thing is, what can Billy Billy achieve when they're not in recovery oh. mode? Time and time again, round after round. What I wouldn't pay to hear the communication yeah, right now. Yeah, get me in comms now. Yeah, please, fly on the wall, <laughs> yes. just hearing that. What are they saying? Gotta have to work for your love today. He's got his work cut out. Four to one facing off against an opponent that certainly wasn't on the radar to this extent, right? You can respect your opponent, you can play a good game, you know, you're not gonna come in here playing, you know, silly Valorant, but 
at this point, you now got to dig deeper, right? They're, they're showing you a style. They're, they're giving you a little bit of a challenge you weren't potentially expecting. So where do NRG take this now? Do they try and brawl out a little more? Because as I said, we've seen those fights in middle, but those crossfires. I don't think that's going to suit them. I, 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 I really agree. don't, Lauren. That, so then it's... what do they go for? <laughs> I mean, I'd be, curi I'd be curious to see if they do slow things down again, yeah. if Billy Billy start digging even deeper, taking space away even further, you know, focusing finesse on one of the extremities, potentially Som elsewhere if that's how NRG's default lies. And those will be even more concerning rounds. Okay, so the operator's coming out to play for Ardis. On the attacking side here. An indicator of the pace slowing down, potentially. Try and work a pick here. And get away scot-free. It's going to be Som and maybe Ardis to take some control towards B, but we've seen a switch up here. Knight actually investing his utility over on that side of the map, and a Viper's Pit from Yosemite. So maybe Nerf Finesse's impact a little bit in this round will be confirmed outside. So I'm looking at who's drifting. So why is he going to slowly shift away from that A side of the map? Again, this is all just trying to figure out the other team's hand, right? we looking at Ardis here, yet to fire a bullet, but Eyeing up towards B. Three players already on this side of the map. As B ain't going to make their way over. Do have the divide if they want it. You do actually have the Viper Wall here as well. Invested from Yosemite, so cuts off Heaven and B main. Can be difficult for YZ or risky for YZ to really backstab and execute there or a split. Looks as if he's going to retreat to the safety behind that tripwire and maybe consider a rotation through spawn, but Divide going to come through here, Lauren. So this will basically be on how much can Biank do, which is going to be hard, but still going to find Victor. Flash through, and now the support knights there. Plays ahead! This aggression unfounded, but perfectly placed. The three are irrelevant to the round now. Stuck towards main. Billy Billy playing outstanding right now. And another neural theft that's going to reveal the positions of everybody on NRG. 15 seconds left on the clock. This round's done, Lauren. NRG going to have to cling to these rifles. Seconds left. Well, Yosemite's actually going to find a peak here in spawn, potentially, to remove one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do they have the flip? They've got funds to yeah, they pressure can a they can throw a body or two at this. Not too many. And the operator's down indeed. That's the one that NRG definitely wanted to hold on to. That's something they wanted to lean on in the next few rounds. I mean, Knight, it's, just, uh, it's so brazen for him to yeah. get ahead of this as well. And he's rewarded for the aggression. Issue being, ah, oh, this, is, this isn't really a round where, you know, he can dash past the Viper oh. wall and somebody, you know, flash behind it. Crashes obviously then be the second layer to this execute. So unless he's rewarded with a, a, a dry pick, it's difficult for him to really crack yeah. through. Like I said, the Viper's wall from Yosemite, really causing issues. And now we look at the buy <laughs> coming out. No, it's he's still got a judge, Lauren. Why wouldn't he? He's loving it. And he's got a showstopper. Mm, there's three potential victims in middle. Oh, he's away. Oh, they can't get away in time. The trade comes out, but he takes down Ardis. So he's just holding. We know that he's got a bit of a a want for going walkabouts, this man, though. He's walked smokes a couple of times. Yeah. He gets a little bit ahead of himself. I mean, I guess you've got to pick your poison at that point. And if that's how he likes to play, then fair, fair dues. But we're looking towards the adjustment from NRG now. It looks like the eventual end towards A, but it's not going to be without trouble. The two kill trips here for Knight as well. But concern being, Victor's got a showstopper and two satchels. They're burnt pretty early on. Going to be caught potentially by, by one, yeah. Oh, he still gets Victor. the kill. Huge. Over delivery from him, but Bianc only good for one. Lovely trade for some. Great spacing on that. Now with the plant going to come down, the last two going to have their work in I front of them. It. An uphill struggle, to say the least. Two toward pillar, and one towards main. Paranoia and one snake bite to work with on the side of Billy Billy. They're not subtle on this. They're not trying to keep themselves concealed by any means. Toxins going up. First challenger could be FNS. <gasps> this is just audacious play. He's so confident. It's disgusting. Walks the wall, takes down FNS, and now they've got game on. Rin needs to find value, though, as well. They're both by pillar here. Rin going to get closer. Still one smoke to hand. What can he do about this one? Oh, that's not ideal. Not at all. 
Tom's made it there in time. NRG finally break back in the game. The back of the show, so like I said, Victor actually caught up in one of those trips. Knight unable to find the kill this time around before the flood approaches from NRG. And here, why is he going one for one in wow. mid? Uh, again, we talked about Yosemite yeah. being happy to get aggressive. Maybe in some of these situations you want to see, maybe a second player behind YZ find that trade initially. And that goes a completely different way for Billy Billy. Call a timeout, maybe just an opportunity to take a breath, <laughs> consider what position they're in. One map up, three rounds ahead. <laughs> Chap been thirsty the last few days. <laughs> Already this early on in the event as well. Oh, I mean, you gotta spread the net as wide as possible. Okay. You know what I mean? Or cast it as early as possible. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Now, five in a row though is a big streak for Billy Billy. That's it's it's ridiculous to look at the score, right? And you've already got YZ on full money. I'm trying to read the signs. I just saw it. it went away. I'm nervous for NRG. Uh, I, but, well, the, the one thing I'm nervous about is seeing Bianc coming here at two and four. If he has another few just, Bianc rounds. Just decides to start getting three case. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. One off the ult as well. So he's doing pretty well for himself. On the other side, FNS one off. Uh, two away for Crash. I mean, Crash has yeah. been cycling through those Seekers real quick. Uh, does this look like they've mm. felt comfortable about a few A-site hits? Why Z, though, an Why operator? Z. This is down there and a flash to start with. Hello and goodbye for Victor. It was a short-lived round. As Why Z ain't falling all the way back. Holding a little close here. Going to have to finally slip away. Artist, the next challenger, but the dog going to reveal his position quite quickly. Noting both players on either side. Artist dips away, but he's crashes to the top. But YD. Uh, Why Z, are you... Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? Sorry. No, 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 the timing, FNS, hello, look behind you, someone turn around, someone do something, FNS can't do enough, what are we seeing? I'm talking about NRG having, I guess, an opportunity to exploit what they feel is a weakness in this a site hold, the read from Billy Billy, why is he even using the judge a little bit, mate, buy an operator here, do PK main. Yeah. Just walk, walk A main as well. I mean, this is literally shut down in the first five seconds of the round. And here, uh, the paranoia from Finesse, checking the flank constantly, allows YZ to shift walk up with an operator up ramp. They're doing it again. Uh, these are just some tilting rounds for NRG to lose though. Absolutely. Ardis, Victor heading on in. Knight. Oh, he's, oh, gonna, he's gonna address the back line first, takes away a finesse. Victor's fallen as well, it's only Artis alive, but Artis is looking a little pissed off, looking a little mean. And they might be able to clear the side, but they haven't cleared all the players, a 2v2 now. YC can't catch it that time, great shot from Som. And certainly the last one alive. 30 HP. Ooh. And you got Artis being bodyguard. Kicking it up a gear here. The original import. Yeah, he's had enough. Big round from him. NRG getting one back on the board. They stick to their guns. Sights set on A. Another situation where you almost want a second body with Knight here. Yeah. He's unable to really act upon his trips because of this double duelist setup from NRG. They're able to just overwhelm, and it's, it's so risky for Knight to address the front line. Like you said, he swings onto the back line. It's finesse coming out of the smoke. As the second wave of that execute. Almost dealt with the money from Billy Billy. They did kind of build well, a mass. Why is he back on a judge, though? Well, and he's got 4,200 in the bank. Yeah, it's an active yeah. choice. So here's the switch up, though. So NLG kind of um, laying down the intention of this A piece, right? Trying to get them paranoid about it. And it's not without some bodies behind it this time. Maybe a little bit of a split, maybe just a different look here. But look at the attention towards middle artists in danger this time. Yeah, not going to get away with it. <laughs> and the judge reigns supreme again. Vulnerable walking into a judge. You just don't win yeah. those. Knight gonna Knight. play ahead. He's, he's ahead. Do they check it? No, they don't. Victor, unaware of the chance that he could slip on through. We gotta know by now. <laughs> Billy, Billy, give no respect, no credit to NRG. And look at YZ again. Look at this position. Please check, please check, please check. Someone check, someone check. You're gonna lurk this way. Oh, God. This is devastating for NRG. 
7-3 lead here for Billy Billy on NRG's map pick. Map two of this series, no less. Some ultimates just about coming online now for NRG. Some tools at their disposal, yes, but they are not in control of this half so far. Billy Billy just, uh, I feel like they're just going from strength to strength. Why is he almost just playing mental games oh, now, yeah. flying around with a judge? I'm so glad we got to see him in his strong look as well, because we saw kind of uh, Bianca having that banal pace change, a gear shift, maybe just trying to get aggressive behind the knives. And the Stinger's coming out. Um, a little bit of a deeper hold, though. Why is he here? Can't catch Artis this time. And Artis going to double dip. He wants in. He wants blood. But he's already taken down a 50. He's getting flooded. There's challenges everywhere and knights on the case. Great trade for Victor. Why is he? He's trying to be stylish from the vents. The paranoia did land, so now there's problems because they already backfill in the site, and the judge claims it's victim. Remaining. Gets its pound of flesh, and there's Bianc. You said it, problems could begin if he starts to heat up, but now maybe Victor. Oh, just dragged down. Billy Billy are outclassing NRG in every single way. I mean, we see a total switch up in the approach here. Billy Billy just so willing to get down and dirty, scrapping things out with NRG. Yeah. And normally, if it's a scrappy game, I also put that to NRG. They're, they are great brawlers. To be the ones to, well, potentially brawl, yes, but slow things down, start oh. controlling. Uh, and you really test the structure of a team like NRG, and that, that's where they excel. We were talking about, uh, I guess, the opening stretch of Lotus, where the fundamentals were on display, and NRG were leaning heavily into that. Operator's hit. Yeah, I just saw it. Operator. Oh, Som. Okay. Nice. Take Good read away. from Som. Really well read. Oh, this wants it. Bianc's also got an operator. He's on the other side of the map, so I'm not so worried. And a quick take towards heaven. Noting nothing. It's Victor's on got the spike. Yeah, I'm, uh, I, I'm getting a little worried with this. If he goes back in and doesn't recheck this diligently, there could be issues. And you know they'll walk a wall, you know they'll take a risk, but Rin is the only one standing on one HP. Oh, he's taking down another! One HP was enough to take down Crashies, but it is a 2v3. This pit is so awkward though, Lauren. Oh, what is this? What does Biang do? He slipped in, maybe unnoted. Yes, unnoted, but handled by Artis. The 70 you can't do it, and Artis takes control. Takes back a reasonable amount of rounds here. But it's Switching certainly size. not easy. Eight to four, Billy Billy showing up massively in map two. And with the pace they've shown on the defense, I'm going to come back to the same comment at the start of this map. I'm very concerned with NRG stumbling a couple of times in the regular season on their defensive halves. They're going to be able to really slow the pace that you've got to assume Billy Billy are going to bring to the second half. I'm hoping so. I hope we see that kind of blistering pace and what an incredible upset we could have in front of us. Something that none of us expected. So I'm curious what the desk makes of this so far. Oh boy, baby, I love this. 8-4, BLG is up, and it looks like China's really trying to establish some dominance here on the global stage. But Mimi, it, 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 you know, BLG, everything is working for this team right now. Yeah, I want to take a look at uh, round four and talk about how good BLG is. It's supporting their side anchors, which is critical against this double duelist comp that NRG was running. You'll notice here that BLG is in an even number situation, and Bianca's going to get taken down pretty unluckily, getting spammed through the smoke by artist. Knight is completely alone anchoring this site, but immediately you see from Rin that Omen Smoke being thrown into support allows him to get forward on this angle and find two. And this Omen Smoke will come to play again. You see the paranoia coming through from CT as the judge is double satcheling in, and this smoke again works to separate the two members of NRG and end up cleanly winning that round for BLG. I found that they were so, so good at using their util to set each other up and being proactive in the mid round. After the first half of Lotus was over, BLG has looked like a completely different team, Don. They sure have. I mean, they've, they've really stepped it up. And I said it before, I'm sure the confidence of that first first map win would carry into the second map, and it seems to have. Knight is uh, looking just as dominant as he did in, in Lotus. Uh, you know, coming up big for them here on, on the A side as the anchor. And 
You know, their, their teamwork and coordination, the way they're, they're coordinating their utility to get onto the bomb site and push these guys off of their holds is just phenomenal. You know, from, from watching these guys, you wouldn't even know that they haven't been in a global event before. It's yeah. incredible. NRG, they've struggled early in tournaments before. They've gone down to the lower bracket in groups. That might not be the biggest surprise, but the fact that BLG is just five rounds away from upsetting them, this could be huge, Shuby. Oh, yeah, this could be a monumental moment for these players. Let's go ahead, though, and send it back over to Pansy and Hypoc. I'm nervous, GB. I'm nervous. Eight to four. NRG not known for this side of the map, Mike. This is where things can go from bad to worse, but it starts with a pistol. Can they course correct, or do we have the upset of the tournament so far? Som, we get a confirmation on the other side of... Well, actually, maybe not. Uh, I mean, I'm not seeing any pings come through here. I don't know if he did spot anybody on that jump peak. They're so close. They're ready to explode. Well, oh. explode. Contact out. Oh, that's gorgeous from Billy Billy. Again, sheer confidence. <gasps> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, oh, FNS turned around in time. But already there's a plant. There's already a man advantage. They're, they're better in kind of the disadvantages, but they hold the keys to the castle this time. FNS, we get the good timing on this one. Crash, he's noted. Flash up in two. Two flashes for Bianca as well, and the paint shell for YZ. But they're so close. Uh, the timing on this is very, very uncomfortable. Pop flash, sure. Artist kind of turns that, so he gets a fight on it, dashes away, goes back for more, spots out another, but it's written to find a finesse. Now all eyes turn towards Artist. Crash, he succeeds. And it's only on Artist now. The 1v2, so much work. 3 HP, he can't do it. Billy, Billy, off to the start they wanted in the second half. I thought they were going to flash out through the wall or something, but they're completely dry, just contacting into B. And they find some solo in hell. Literally. Yeah. With four players of Billy Billy staring him down. And they solidify their sight hold as well. Like I said, concerning, yes, they're converting disadvantages in the first map, but we're seeing a very different result here on split. No investment on the side of NRG. A shorty, a sheriff, YZ, back on the signature. <laughs> there we go. And see, he can check the flag. It's fine. No, excuse me. Hello. Oh, Som. It's not what you wanted. We talked about checking your corners, eh? Hello, buddy. That's uh, two right there. Make it. Uh, uh oh, why, why, why is he's going to see you? Someone's going to see you. Someone. See you, Victor. He does some good chip damage, but they're going to need more YZ. It's just a nightmare to handle. A fiend with this weapon. Is. I hate it, and yeah. I love it. He's still going. Oh, my heart is breaking. He's going to get them all. YZ is monstrous. Bianca on map one was the standout. Map two, we can see why people were saying he was the one to watch. Two off the showstopper coming into oh, round three. Oh, oh. And no doubts that he's probably still going to have this weapon. Oh, more than likely. Oh. 10 for the scoreline, Lauren. NRG unable to get anything going just yet. You can see the energy starting to rise on stage. Chaos. I was wondering if we're going to have a Cinderella run from a team. This could be the first look at the first couple of steps. However, they ain't done yet. NRG have a buy. But it's got to be like a five standing, you know, like It's got to really be clean, yeah. As close to yep. flawless, you'd hope. There's only really Yosemite that's struggling down at 600 credits. I mean, if you're trying to judge in every buy round, you can maybe afford an extra rifle here and there. Uh, Artists oh, getting Ardis, curious. Ardis. Don't, you know what happened to this man? Oh, <laughs> but he's quick. Spray on that. He has the one way to be able to fall away from. Why is he unable to kind of close down on that chance? With Rin falling, he, he kind of looked towards Yosemite, maybe to make use of his utility elsewhere. But uh, I mean, look at it. It's yeah. to, to basically deny a ramp speak to really give them much of an opportunity to pressure. Hang on, though. Knight might catch some fortunate timing here. Hmm. But with the trip placed there, it makes me feel like they are going to commit towards this B split. Heaven's pretty open. Yeah, FNS can kind of fall through, but it's really hard to hold from the back of this corner. Som and Artis could be in a little bit of danger here, actually. Yeah, so many angles to worry about. Maybe a misplay, but maybe Artis is enough to hold. He's not! Billy Billy breaking back in again! A 2v3 in their favor. Well, flipping a 4v5 potentially here. 
They've got the man advantage in the post plant. And Yosemite with a very deep position here. Crash. Bye bye. And Victor. I think you're walking from this one. Yeah. This is going to be 11 for Billy Billy. This is obscene, Mike. Can we just talk candidly for a second? What do you think the percentage chances were in your head of this happening? I. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go on. I'm saying. Five, I'm going to be honest. I, I I came into this thing. It was very one-sided for towards NRG. I wouldn't have even yeah. committed to a percentage oh. odds on this. Yeah. Uh, and that's not to undersell Billy Billy at all. No, you go for what you know. Uh, they've exceeded expectations here. Brilliant performance from them. Uh, I mean, they even speak candidly about it themselves. Yeah. We're here to Low learn. Low expectations. We're here to learn. We have no experience. We we Perfect. just want to take away from some of the best teams in the world. Right now, they're taking that. away a lot. Exactly, they're <laughs> taking away potentially the first series versus a heavy hitter. One enemy the kings of consistency on the global stage. Oh. Oh, he's giving it. He's giving it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. Time out for NRG. Well, well, well. I said, I think a lot of us coming into today, if you went off what you know, you go off stats, you go off previous results, yeah, you, go, I, you go off factors of real importance. And I don't mean to be disingenuous with that. It, it's, it, no. like I said, it, there's maybe a handful of teams outside of, you know, like Loud, Fnatic, NRG, that you, yeah. you, you look at some of these, I don't even want to call Billy Billy a dark horse, but an unknown oh. entity. Oh, uh, Maybe next game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe next time. I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right. No, it's not even an EMEA team. I'm but I was going to say. Now, like, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, four rounds, though. That is rough. No, it's all right. Some had a good game. He got an ace at one point. It's all right. I'll be fine. You're clutching. Yeah, I'm trying, man. I'm trying real hard. Seven yeah. rounds to recover here. Investment coming through. Yep. Bulldogs, a guardian. The blade storm here for Ardis. It oh. has to start now, Lauren. Okay. If Billy Billy hit 12, you got to no, argue GG. with the way they've been playing, they're going to close out. You'll get a YZ round. You'll get a round out of something. You do want. Yeah. yeah. All right, NRG. Come on. Yes. Give us a little something here. Russia. There's a reason to believe. Because right now, it's been Billy Billy the whole way through. Now. Aggressive start. Knight to the first challenge. Bianc with a trade. Oh, this does take down Knight. Victor's HP down to 23. Oh, get healed up by crashes. This is a quick pivot. They're looking elsewhere on the map too. They're looking to try and flex towards B quite quickly. And the showstopper's there. This could be an explosive take. Som is in danger. FNS. Don't know if he caught that paranoia. He should be fine for now. But here comes that explosion. Why is he going to dive on in head first? and try and find Som. He's got him. Gateway open, but FNS clutching onto this. Desperate to hold on, and Victor's by his side. They're not giving up Last yet. Biak standing. still standing there with a 1v1. And out of everyone, it's Crashies. The opposing number keeps NRG with a little bit of breath in their lungs. Five rounds now. But they're clinging to life in terms of the finances, Lauren. Gonna oh. force basically a full repurchase here, and Billy Billy sitting comfortably. The crowd they want it. finally with a chance to get behind them, a reason to cheer here. So they definitely need it. <laughs> the road starts with one round, another six to six. find. There we go, just six. Can they turn it down to five? Can they keep this one going? Victor wants to be active. Not afraid to fight. Zardis challenging towards middle as well. Looks like Billy Billy aware of the chance of that aggression. We know it's a common shift for NRG to look for opportunity. Cautiously clearing towards middle. Oh, this waiting. Spot, yes he does, spots the cross. That's very indicative. Do they continue to follow this path? Because by all rights, there's no one holding A. Well, Crash is actually gonna early clear with the trailblazer here. Is anybody spotted off? I don't I think he saw Knight. I don't think they did. They're already coming across towards screens, but... So far ahead, though. There's a pain shell to slow things down. Crashes oh. commits to it. Uh, it looks like desperation. Speaking... Oh, no! Mistakes happening. You can see the frustration. It's starting to crumble in front of our eyes. Victor down to 11. No heals this time. Crashes is gone. It's mostly on FNS. Some and artists to find those next steps back in here. 
Finesse needs to find something on this flank. But the this Bulldog in hand. He's not going to commit towards it. No. Nope. So there's three on the site. One towards that little cubby. And then Ardis, first man in. Dash into the smoke, draws the eyes. Victor does find it. Ardis tries, but he fails. And now down to just one. YZ, can they find him in time? He looks up towards the top, but Som again! Greatness oh. from Som now. Another round, another step closer, and another lifeline. Showing composure here, so much patience to set up ahead of that retake. And then RG successful. It's a paint show and the dash to really set things in motion for them. Again, only one survives. Was it five rounds? That now? should work. I'm gonna keep count. It's tough for me. That'll work. And Billy Billy forced down to. Uh, I mean, they have a few uh, rounds like this with SMGs they can throw in. They still scare me. Even yeah, if they, they do, because if a pace change comes out here, I mean, why is he still got a judge? He's on a full buy, basically. Yep, he's happy. Oh, speaking of, where he goes, almost caught. Oh, oh no way! Oh, this just got knocked out. That's a Vandal upgrade. He don't even want it. Boombots are going to clear it. No way! That's a four. -up. This is ridiculous. This isn't the round it happens. No, not like this. Why is he is surely going to put him on twelve? Carve it into the scoreboard. Unless crashes. Goes huge. He's desperately trying, and he's absolutely oh, succeeding. My words. When NRG need it most, Crashies is there. Another clutch from him. Clutch. All right. And he stands up and delivers here. The Red Bull clutch once again from Crashies to keep NRG's hopes alive here. Look at this start, though. That is obscene, isn't it? I mean, he's oh. just so slippery. Yeah. Uh, Ardis, yeah, yeah. You can't even call this overzealous from Ardis. It, it, nice. They have to do something to slow down Billy Billy in rounds like this. Yeah. Uh, it's only really the open plant that, that is That's Billy really Billy's demise here. If Rin yeah. gets a safe plant, an ability to reset after that, Different gets a fair engagement, maybe there's a chance. Billy Billy forced into a timeout here as they're on the brink of... A snowball round, Lauren. Everything yeah. except the Seeker's available, and they're missing one orb for it. Another round where NRG only one survives, so Money's as a byproduct of that, yeah, there's yeah. a Guardian and a Judge Ugh. in the inventory for NRG. They keep finding something. They keep getting these little rounds here and there. How many more can they get away with? Closer and closer. How many Almost. more has Crashies got up the sleeve? Nice Crashies. I'd give him two more. He's, he's good. He's, he'll be all right. All right, what we got? Who's Keith? Keith. Isom. Ah. I don't know if there was a heart there that we can see just on that. Yeah, just Isom. <laughs> um, we, yeah, I'm scared of this snowball round. I, I think NRG will be as well. Probably what the timeout was for, discussing what to do with this, right? <laughs> oh, Judge's back. Judge's back. Judge Showstopper's back. back. I mean, <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good for YZ. Three in a row. Can they make it four for NRG? Get up to 11 to 8. We asked a lot of them to try, to try and turn this game around. Billy Billy keep getting damn close. Early ult from FNS. Does not want to entertain a B hit. Does Billy Billy even care? Oh god, no, they don't. Well, why is he certainly does? Oh, FNS gives him a taste of his own medicine. Why is he down out of the round? Judge drop this time. It's four alive. So secondary objective, the pit will fall, so. Relinquishing some of that control. Oh. Artists will spot Yosemite. Patience now. When does Here. he peek? He's checking. We can see how close they are. Great shot spots the other two. No tip, but Knight's still going to find him. This should be relayed. Exactly this is FNS now. Potentially on a platter, but keep your eyes on the spike. He's going towards B. FNS standing tall. Showing him how it's done. That's going to be eight, surely. Bianca was exceptional on that one. No chance here. FNS. The brains of the brawn this round. Just three more. Another round, Billy Billy will be down to SMGs. Maybe a judge as well in hand. Enemy down. One enemy <laughs> the heroics here from Finesse. 
but the job's not done yet. You can see on his face as well. Oh, man. This game's heating up now. Okay, so a couple of those ults got burnt, though, right? So keep that in mind. We thought that snowball round could be happening. Some of that's been removed. Why is he already opt he opted to invest his in just around Briar? Tagged up. That's a big, big yeah. damage. Bian gonna have to invest all of that healing here, which is fine. Get some back up to sit in pretty, but very indicative of the hit coming this way. You've got three players now on that early lean from NRG. Confirmation there from Crashes on the Trailblazer. Not gonna be anybody to greet here inside ropes. How deep do they explore? As Finesse is positioned all the way up towards heaven. There's no reason for him to rotate just yet with three members of right NRG there. up. This they close. Do they re-clear ramp? Do they re-clear ramp? Do... Oh, no, no, no. There's a trap. There's a trap. There's a trap. Some. Some. There's a trap. Some. There's a trap. Turn. Look. The flash of paranoia. Oh, it's devastating. Oh, Billy, Billy. Bait them in perfectly. And this could be the heartbreak round. Artis and FNS, though. Heroics from FNS. And just that round gone. Artis always good for it. This is the round to do it on. First challenger found. YZ down. Yosemite. Oh, my God. Not again. Not like enemy, this. Enemy. Yosemite pulls the trigger. FNS is gone. It's on Artis in a 1v3. An operator in hand, though. This is going to require a miracle, Lauren. But it's Artis. Someone answers the prayers. It used to be Artis answering. Not today. Noted early here by the utility. He will have to fall away. Mike, that trap play was ridiculous out of this world. And NRG are so eager to take the initiative, be yes. decisive yes. in this round. And like I said, come back to that earlier discussion, deny some of the space and some of the comfort that Billy Billy have found with setting the precedent in terms of aggression, in terms of control. And it's a round on just stingers and SMGs. How sick is that? YZ the... finding the upgrade, yeah. applying further pressure. We'll put Billy Billy on map and series point here on split. Point. Oh, what's the buy like? They should have good funds here for NRG. On the other side, it should be a full purchase too. And this trap play is going to be carved in the hearts of NRG. Incredible work from Billy Billy to break that out at this point as well, showing they've got that depth, that ability. And now it's OT or it's bust for NRG. Billy, oh, I'm Billy. seeing just finesse here. Oh, God. So well, we need another finesse round. He's going to have his hands full, Lauren. Does he just back away? And I'll be walking mid elsewhere. Early confirmation and no presence. Did Billy Billy already, step up the pace here? They're already thrown ramp. They felt no resistance at all. It looks like they're trying to clear quickly. Yes, Ardis makes it there in time, so can backfield towards heaven. But now the problems fall back towards Finesse. Pain shell to force him away, committing towards the side. The paranoia said he's in danger, and he's dead. Why is he already in? And NRG and Dire straight here, down to four. Sight waving Billy Billy's flag here. All going to be invested to Plant. Going to come down. 5v4 in favor of Billy Billy. Need someone to open this round up. A divide available with a pit down. Well, it doesn't really it. amount to too much. Here we go. This is it. Hold your breath. As now the fight begins, Knight takes down Tom. Looks for follow-up. Finding anyone. Why is he there? It's down to Victor. It's down to Artis. It's all that's left is Artis. And the unthinkable might just happen here. The true upset of the day. The upset of the event so far. Billy Billy besting NRG. You can see what it means to them as well. To come back to that same thing at the start of the day. We're here to learn. Wow. An amazing performance by Billy Billy. And a stunning loss for NRG. Give it up to them. They just put on a fantastic show. The fact they faced NRG first, one of arguably what the best teams. What a rough draw to start your first champions run kings of consistency always delivering individual excellence i mean nrg has it all but today somehow did not manifest it in time the valiant attempt at the end there but that trap play will be echoing through their minds going forward but truly the upset mike i didn't see this coming absolutely not uh, credit where credit is due uh, we talked about some major concerns in map one sure. still billy billy get uh, able to actually flip that in their favor we're now in overtime Matt wow. 2, you see the confidence. Just what a contrast. And actually dominating the first bloods in the second half.
which was something that was a real concern. Like I said, yeah, they were still converting 4v5s, but I mean, that's not something you want to rely upon. Uh, uh, even with Bianca and YZ putting up a couple of rounds here and there, it's still such a flaky thing to pin your hopes on. What a ridiculous matchup that was. Fantastic start to the day. Truly, I think the upset so far that's caught all of us off guard, but fantastic nonetheless. And to really break it down, to get into the thicker things, the analyst desk. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, well, do you believe in magic? Because they sure do. <laughs> Billy Billy managed to walk away with a 2-0 victory over NRG. Words that I never thought I would say here at Champions LA. But if there's one thing I love, it's being shocked. It's being caught off guard. This is what this sport needs. And truly, you never know what's going to happen in the VCT because players can come from all sorts of regions around the world, create incredible combinations, and then this happens. Magic happens here in LA, Mimi. This is only the second Chinese team to have won Unreal. a match internationally, and it's in their first ever showing. They've never been to a global event before, and here in their first chance against one of the teams who has made it to top four in every single global event, going all the way back to Champs 21, they make it happen. What an incredible moment for BLG. Not only did they win Cycle, but they do so dominantly here on Split. Oh, absolutely dominantly. I mean, we they started off a little bit slow there on Lotus, but managed to pull it back. But Split, they were in the driver's seat the entire time. And I think it's just this perfect storm of, you know, a bunch of different factors here. You know, energy are notoriously slow to start. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, it's just that, that like comfort on the stage all of a sudden out of nowhere for this BLG team. They've, they've come yeah. out, they've surprised everyone here. And on top of that, the players just look so good, right? You, you were talking about who's going to be the villain. It might be these guys. They're talking trash up might there. Might be all of them. They look great. <laughs> oh, yeah, they absolutely yeah. do. And, yeah. I mean, just especially K9. Look at him look, standing up, screaming at the other team every time they get a, a, a round win. This guy is ready to go constantly. And, and we talked about this team. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if they were able to take out energy here, we may have a contender on our hand for this tournament. And it seems like we we might. Yeah, I, I really genuinely do believe that BLG is looking like a, an extremely competitive team. And yes, you could talk about Energy's history of, you know, struggling in the opening matches, but uh, something about that just looked rather special. And that is the reason why BLG walks away with a 2-0 win. I'm sure everyone's going to be coming over that for quite some time, but I believe we do have our Verizon post-match interview. We do, Yinsu. She's standing by, waiting for me to stop talking. Yinsu, take it away from BLG and Wendy here uh, to translate what an honor it is for me to share a stage with you, K9. First of all, uh, congratulations, uh, Gongxi. You guys uh, put up a massive upset. I don't think many people expected you to beat NRG. Uh, so talk to me, how did you guys do it? Why do you think that you beat them today? 那首先恭喜你们非常漂亮拿下今天比赛的胜利大家其实都是第一次来这种国际型的大赛 I feel like the main reason that why we are able to get the win for today's game is definitely the practice made by the whole team, the effort put in to practice, and also the good men's side all of us hired. Because this is definitely the first international journey for all of us, so with the rookie here on the stage, to, because of that, we just kind of have a very relaxed men's side. We just like to enjoy it. And after that, I will just give the credit to all the practice made by us and also the good mental. Yeah, you guys played super well today. Now, K9, I know uh, on the team you have a lot of energy. I know you like to uh, uh, tell jokes, you know, make your teammates laugh, lift them up when they are down. Uh, so talk me through what that was like for you in, in this game in particular. Were there any moments that you felt like maybe you really had to get them uh, back together? 那其实我们一直都觉得我们的小K是整个队伍内的一个气氛担当嘛
？耶，我觉得这是肯定是需要的。就比如说我们在图二下半场的时候，其实是一度被对面拿残局，呃，一打三，对吧？所以我们的气势可能是需要用言语来，可能不能拿当时不能拿比分来提升我们的气势，那当时就要利用这个言语来提升我们的气势。所以说，呃，问题是什么来着？就是你觉得有没有一些瞬间，就是你们确实需要好好的来鼓励自己。Yeah， 就是那个一打三之后吧，我觉得那个时候确实是需要，就是改变一下，多出改变嘛。对。Yeah, definitely. I must say there's some moments that we really need to cheer us up. Especially, I would like to talk a bit more about split the map two, and as well in the second half, the opponent team they were able to get so many scores, they win a lot of crunches, and also. After they got that one v three victory, it feels like although we can't get scores around that point, but we need to like communicate to each other, try to have a very good momentum, try to cheer up each other to focus on the game. Thank you so much, Wendy, for translating. Thank you very much, K9, for joining me, guys. Give it up for BLGK Knights, and what a start this has been for Group C. More upsets on the way, perhaps, because right after this, Fnatic and Zeta will be taking the stage. Energy are looking to hold the trophy over their heads yet again, but in their way is a team with nothing to lose and everything to gain. It's NRG versus Billy Billy Gaming to kick off the day. So now has too many targets, but he deals with them so well. Snaps back to attention. Stunning from Song. Struggling to pin down the first crashes and found one with a stinger. Yeah, but Knight's on the case. It's going to be Song to attempt it. So we'll throw the crosshair placement oh, off, but a pain shell going to force oh. in there. Knight actually finding an ace of his own, Lauren. Then the paranoia and Victor starts working. That's the moment to strike. Pops the ult. He needs to get this, and he does. Oh, forces your 70 away. And now so low, though. Your 70 is still standing, still sitting pretty. Just waiting on that classic. They're so low. He's got a 1v1 to win. Victor, desperate to try and hunt him down. He can't get there in time. <laughs> G stunned out of the server, Billy Billy, claiming map one. Uh, so he can check the flank, it's fine. No, excuse me, hello. He does some good chip damage, but they can need more YZ. Oh, my heart is breaking. He's going to get them all. Are you OK? Carve it into the scoreboard. And as crashes, goes huge. He's desperately trying, and he's absolutely oh, succeeding. My words. She needed most. Crushies is there. What did I say? I promise I win. I said it, bro. It's a trap. Stop. It's a trap. Turn. Look the flash of paranoia. Oh, it's devastating. Billy, Billy, beat them in perfectly. The true upset of the day. The upset of the event so far. Billy, Billy, besting NRG. Calling all students. Compete in the ultimate Valorant competition. The Red Bull Capitalist Clutch. Register now for your national qualifier.